<laughs> yeah, because you're an asshole, right? Exactly, so, yeah. and you're so stupid. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? <laughs> I think Jake would have us believe Rodrigo doesn't mean a thing to him. Uh, but I think in reality, he has to. He's one of the last vestiges of trust and friendship that um, Jake doesn't truly fuck over. Um, and, and in that, there is uh, a level of respect and, and brotherhood that I think they experience. And so, although it's it's sort of seemingly playfully hurtful when, uh, when Rodrigo's not aligned with Jake and what Jake wants to do. I think if Jake actually truly lost him, it would be a big blow. I think that. Yeah, and I mean, vice versa. I think that Rodrigo is really elevated when he's, when he's with Jake. I mean, Jake, Jake really challenges him and really thinks he can be up to the challenge. Um, more than any, anyone else. I mean, you had someone like Emily who just kind of treats Rodrigo with a lot of scorn and not much intelligence. And if you notice, a lot of the banter between them is like very just like one or two words. Whereas uh, with Rodrigo, there's a lot of kind of interesting language being tossed back and forth. It's a, there's a lot of word and sword play um, yeah. <laughs> between them. So they, they challenge each other and I think they make each other better but also more evil I mean and they know. love that about yeah. each other they love their capacity for uh, other people's anguish and uh, I think they like I think they have this desire to be that kind of power couple mm. but there are both things they wish the other person had about them that they just don't um, so they're not quite perfect for each other but uh, they're they're definitely opposites to a degree. Yeah. I mean, very cerebral and then very kind of gut. Absolutely. So it's like when they come together, it's like fuck, watch out. Yeah, it's um, chemical. It's a chemical reaction. It's yeah. like, yeah. yeah, it's poison. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I definitely don't have best friends who casually come over and take their shirts off. <laughs> but what I do have, and I'm sure everyone has that experience with a friend where. You can be really mean to them, but they can handle it. And you almost respect the level at which they can quip back and forth with you. And even, even Jacob says in one of the scenes, I do love our banter. And it's true, That's, it's one of the, as stupid as he thinks Rodrigo is, he is uh, uh, impressed by the level of uh, intelligence he has in terms of insults. And uh, that's a very Shakespearean thing that I think uh, travels through friendships now and is actually a sign of, of trust and and love and I definitely have that with my best friend Yeah, I mean if they if they both didn't have thick skins, they wouldn't be friends. Yeah, so they've I mean as much as they insult each other and they hurt each other uh, They're they're able to get over it very quickly, which I think is a good kind of postmark for oh, You're gonna be bona fide friends for quite a while. It's a little masochistic actually. But. Yeah, but I think most uh, you know Relationships with any kind of endurance are somewhat masochistic. That is a thought. Yeah. Or a ans depth. and sadistic. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm like Rodrigo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. I'm like some depth there. Um, my my friends actually a lot of my good friends are, are are friends that are women, and I'm a straight guy, so it's it's kind of interesting. There's always I find there's always a bit of sexual energy, regardless if I mean unless the woman's a lesbian, but. Um, yeah, I have this, this one friend in particular, like we, we recognize there's a sexual tension there and we play mm. off of it and we often gross each other out to the point of where you're just <laughs> disgusting. But okay, fine, you want to play that way? So then it just kind of, you know, goes on top of each other. So very much like Rodrigo and, uh, and Jacob. Um, yeah, I find that if, yeah. if, if a friend isn't able to take disgust and, and all that and like, mm yeah like accept it then it's gonna be hard to be friends so very un -PC. at least friends with you that's yes there you go yeah, yeah i'm a perverse individual so. <laughs> perfect <laughs>